no fara kubatira tenzi tino puma kumubatira basa iro tenzi ano tipa tino itane kutendeka to mubatira to enamberi Jesu alim kupenya kwa baba anoti pasi komborero to mubati to yenda meri tinero faro to mubati Tenzi tino famba ne kuperera topangiza bangwe kuna tenzi ne banyanga zikugoyana to mubatira to yenda meri tinero faro to Tiram pano mumunda wake to mubati tiram to yenda meri tiru faro to mubati tiram pano mumunda wake. Greetings, beloved of my father. Well, I'm so used to the ordinary pulpit, but this time around we're using the kitchen as our pulpit. And guess what are the tools of the trade? We're using the pots, the pans, the ingredients as we talk of the love of what we can do. And this is brought to you by Ndawayami, the lifestyle that we want to live. And we still have our international cuisine chef and his name is Chef Tino. Chef Tino, how are you today? I'm very well. How are you, Pastor? I'm excited because when I see here, yes. I'm looking at a snack that I would actually do when I go with young people as we go, you know, and yes. do these activities that we're doing. So what do we have here? What are you preparing for us today? So we are going to do a, an epic burger. Um, epic burger. Epic burger because it's, 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 it's oversized. You know, it's, it's very big. It's huge. Ah. Yes. So epic. that's why I'm calling it epic burger. Wow. Epic. Chef Tino's. Epic, epic beggar. So what do we have epic as, as an ingredients? Yes, I know uh, our viewers now know that all our programs, we are mm. advocating for organic yes. um, ingredients that will help us develop our bodies yes. and become fit for us to do uh, yes. what our creator yes. wanted us to do. So tell us, what are our ingredients for our epic beggar? Yes. So basically our main ingredients are, uh, we have uh, whole wheat, rose, and then uh, beggar patties from fries. Uh, we also have cucumber, green pepper, uh, eggplant, and also tomatoes, and then avocados and onions. Wow. So those are the main ingredients for my epic burger. I can't wait to have an ep epic experience. And also we serve them with uh, sauces like um, olive oil and um, olive oil mayonnaise. My olive oil and um, what do you call it? This one? This is it. Yes, olive oil and canola, uh, so my mayonnaise, and also uh, barbecue sauce there. 
kwa. That's the idea of the Ndaoyang lifestyle. We want you to go uh, organic as you prepare the healthy meals in your house. So, Chef Tino, I think today now, having had some time with you, today I can actually be helping out with one or two yes. things. Is that okay? Yes, yes that, that will be helpful. Okay, that's yes, fine. That's so, what are we doing? How are we starting? How are we doing this? Uh, we need to uh, yes. get uh, the epic thing started. Yes, now let's now start. So, first thing, we need to toast our beggars, our beggar rolls. So I'm going to cut them into halves and then you toast them. So you can now preheat your toast. Okay, so let me preheat my... Add a little bit of olive oil uh -huh. in the pan. So I'm just toasting these ones? Yes. Okay. Ha! Olive oil, one of my favorites. So now you can put these beggars okay. inside. So, so toast them. So as we are doing that, I'm also going to cut uh, uh, the cucumbers. So, so I'm just waiting for my uh, yeah. to heat a bit. And then so welcome to our epic beggar, and I hope you have an epic experience even as you prepare the same at home. And remember, we are advocating for organic foodstuffs so that you can develop your body just like the creator wanted it to become. Yes. So now, I'm now cutting the, the cucumbers while least we are tossing the bag. Okay, you can do that. Okay. So how thin should we cut the, yeah. the cucumber? Not too thin, not too thick also. Okay, do you need a plate for? Yes. For the cucumbers. Alright, there you go. I'll just put a plate here. That's so fine. anything that you cut, you can be then the next thing is green pepper. I mean, yeah, red pepper. So, so you cut them in rings. Ring. Yes. Okay. So cut them in rings like this. And then you need another plate. Um. Okay. There you go. Okay. This. This here. Okay. And then yellow pepper. So cut it into rings. Then the onion, the red onion. medicinal vegetables that you must uh, yes. try to always have because of its medicinal qualities. Yes, that's very true, Jim. So, now the tomatoes. I'm told for men, put, uh, tomatoes are good, especially for for prostate. Prostate cancer, yes. They prevent prostate cancer. I think for us to make it a little bit more epic, let's put more tomatoes. tomatoes yes, I I like that's you. a good idea. <laughs> I, I wish I was a pastor on this uh, uh, kitchen pulpit. It's easy to become a pastor on this. <laughs> hmm. It's actually very easy. What you need is passion. It's passion. Yes. Okay. So, and then 
the avocado. May you please pass me the avocado? There you go. Declared my interest. Mm-hmm. Avocados are like my favorite uh, uh, food. Thing. So today you're going to enjoy yourself. Mm. I'm going to have an epic time. Mm. Look at they're looking crispy. Yes, gorgeous, crispy. Wow. Wow. I'm loving this. Then this slice my avocado. Very thin slice. So these these are golden crispy. Waiting for the epic oh, moment. That's actually better than me, actually. We've done better so than So, what, what would we have next? Um, we need the plate to put the avocado. The avocados, okay. Let's have the plate for avocados. Yes. Yes. Okay. Put it here. Yes. So, now we need to fry our onions, um, peppers. How many pans do we need? Do you need one? Ah, uh, two. We need two, two pans okay. for patties and the onions and tomatoes. And so what are we starting? We'll start with the patties? Or? So we are going to be doing the patties and I'm going to be doing the onions. Oh. Yes. Are you saying I'm going to do the epic uh, bigger patty? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just wait for me as I get, get my epic pan. All right. All right. All right. All right. So now we are going to fry the fries. The, the, I mean the, um, the patties, the bigger patties. Well, you should have given me the organic vegetables, but well, since I'm the, <laughs> yes. I'm the, I'm the associate pastor on this pulpit, yes, you have uh, to I'll do, do the, the yes. bigger. So I'm going to put my, uh, olive oil, yes. and uh, Chef Tina has explained to us the benefits of using olive oil. It's a non-calorie wonder yes. for those who want to reduce their calories. Yes. Um, so you wow. can also pass me. Okay. And I'm going to be frying the uh, onions, peppers, and peppers. So just so these are actually soya. Yes, soy soy pe- Yeah, soy they are made from soya beans. It's made from organic soya beans. Okay, yes. that's great. So is this one on? Okay, okay let me switch one. I like the sound of it. Right? Yes. <laughs> let me just put a bit of. Olive oil. After this, you, 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 I will now call you a professional chef. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably only on the, on the, on the kitchen pulpit. But yeah, I think I'm liking. Yes. The idea of. That's I chef. told you. It's very easy to become a kitchen pulpit. I tell you. So what do I use here? one on yes it is so I just no, just Jeff fry so we're going to make these patties until they become cold and crispy yes all right So the 
have seasoned them a bit with um, salt, the, um, the pepper and the onion. And now we have a little bit of parsley. Parsley, there you go. Parsley. Right. And then uh, the barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. You're going to put it in the. Yes. Okay. As well. Just a little bit of uh, mm. so smelling now. divine. Yes, um, and I'm liking that these uh, patties that are turning into crispy gold. Yes. Yeah. So you add a little bit of barbecue. This. Yeah. So you just keep frying it. Yes. That. Add a little bit of flavor. Yeah. I'm enjoying the barbecue uh, flavor that yeah. you're just putting in. And then can we, can we change pots? No, no, no. Stick to your, <laughs> <laughs> stick to your pan. <laughs> yeah. I stick so to my church, to my, it's my kitchen church. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick to your kitchen. So now, you don't have to overcook them. So they are now okay. good. Like this. So, just put them here. This you can switch off. The okay, I can switch off. Yes. So my mine are golden crispy. Yes, golden crispy. Yeah, I think they are now good. They are fine. Yes. So we need to uh, put them in a plate. All right. Somewhere. Well, let's do this. Okay. Then we can remove this. Hello, and So you can put in that one. All right. Oh, good. there. You can see they are crispy and golden. Mm. Well done, chef. <laughs> well done, pasta. No, call me chef. Oh, well done, chef. <laughs> <laughs> So chef, now that the beggars are golden and crispy, yes. uh, our rolls are mm, properly roasted, we do have our garnishing ingredients, I think I'm also ready to become a professional chef. Okay. Tell us, lead us, how do we do now? So now we are now laying out our beggar, our epic beggar. Ah, so, I like this epic, <laughs> epic, epic, epic laying out of a beggar. So how do you do it? Okay, so you follow my lead. Huh? Okay. It's okay. So we take the base one. Just the base one. All right. I've taken my base. And then lettuce. Take okay. Lettuce. I'll start with the. Uh, start with any color you want. All right. Since you said I must follow your lead. Yes. Let me be a good student and you know. Yes. And or then, just put one. Uh, it's okay. You can put two. Okay. I think I'll yes. make my epic. Yeah, you can be also creative. You know. You can also do <laughs> right. what you think. So now the canola and olive mayonnaise. The canola and olive mayonnaise. Like this. Okay. okay. Now that you did circle, I'm going to do boxes. You know how it is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me see if I'm going to make it here. Okay. Let's do. 
Diamond is hell. Nah. So the next thing is uh, pepper and onion. So you lay out. I'll take this. the red since you took the yellow. Okay. And then I'll but you can, you can put both. Yes, I'm just saying. I'm just going anti yes. chef. <laughs> okay. I'll put two rings. I love onion. I think it was. So now we now lay out the first pet. The first petty. Yes. On top. Okay. I think this one looks golden and crispy. I like this one. It's right. There you go. And then after that. When you say first. Yes, the first pet. Are we going to have two? Yes. It's oh, that's epic. the epic part of it. Yes. Ah, yes. Let's go. Let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> yes. So after this, now the tomatoes. The tomatoes. All right. Yes. Uh, thank you for tomatoes. How many are you putting in? I'm in two. I'm in two. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Like okay. <laughs> We're going to have an epic moment. Let me choose something a little bit bigger. Okay, let's go. Yes. You can also, as well, add some, you know, um, microgreens on top of the tomatoes. Please. I will okay. have some. Yes. I wish, I wish our viewers would be able to, to test which one is more epic, yours or mine, but <laughs> I feel like mine is more epic than yours. Okay, okay. You now know, you want to compete with me. You know when the student becomes better than the, yes. than the teacher? Because <laughs> I added a few <laughs> micro greens. Alright. So now, the cucumber. Cucumber. Alright. I think yes. I'll go for two. Yes. Yes. And then now, we now need to re to uh, the next pet. Next bit, yes. Can but before that, oh. just a little bit of barbecue or oh, barbecue, yes. you know, to make it juicy. Hmm. Hey, hey. Yes. I tell you guys, this is epic. And also a little bit of. I think I'm gonna have my church in the in the in the kitchen more often than not. Yes. So that's soy sauce. That's uh, dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce. Yes. All right. right. Yeah. That's me. Now it's time to. With the next pet. Alright. Oh before that we can we can put avocados also. Uh, but okay. the pet should be the last yes, thing. Yes, the last thing, yes. Alright, since I'm already holding mine, okay. I'll just quickly pick an avocado. Right. And then I'll put it right there. Like that. Yes. Yeah. So make sure it doesn't fall. <laughs> okay. Sure. Otherwise, the epic part becomes Otherwise you not fail. epic. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> so now the final pet. But we may need to garnish it a bit with a little bit of this. Okay. So let me go one on. onion. Yes. Let me go the yellow paper. Yes. This one is too big. I'll cut and put it in my plate. Okay, I'll put it back here. Right. Now that's the epic beggar. So, <laughs> uh, make sure it doesn't fall. That's what I'm trying to. Mm. So, the final stage. Now, without, without the. Just to. The what? Uh, I'm going to put in the. Oh no. No, okay. no, no, it's yes. So the final stage is now. Okay. So gently. Yes. How do you say gently and then you just go? <laughs> ah, that's perfect. So now we can now we are now sure that our bigger one for. So we can now oh, go never going to fall. <laughs> <laughs> I can put as many microgreens yes. as I like. Yes, right. I can do anything because yes. now it has been it's now on a sure can, foundation. Yes. Okay. And also you can also top with mayonnaise. Use okay, mayonnaise. mayonnaise is here. So let me start mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. And There we 
think, huh? How come yours looks a bit taller than mine? <laughs> <laughs> and we are still learning. Can, can I make mine a little bit taller than yours? Oh, okay, it's fine. I'll just edit the... <laughs> <laughs> yes! So, mine is a bit that's taller. how you plate your epic beggar. All right. And then this one you just put by the side. Oh, this one you put by the side. Yes. All right. right. Toasted, so. golden, and cream. crispy. Yes. Wow, Shiftino, yes. I think uh, our epic beggars are epic now. Yeah, uh, but yeah. I think we must garnish it one last time. What would you want to garnish yours with? Uh, my, my favorite sesame seeds. <laughs> well, I think I'll go with parsley. Okay. So, well, we'll allow the viewers to determine which one is more epic. The oh, yes. uh, parsley epic beggar. One or two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or it's sesame, okay. yes. You can so. just add it on. There you go. Yes. Thank you for joining us for this edition of the uh, Kitchen Pulpit under the banner of Ndawayam as we continue uh, on the trajectory of a good lifestyle. Chef Tino, thank you for joining us once more. But in case there's some more coming uh, for the first time on our uh, platform, where can people get in touch with Chef Tino? Okay, we can get in touch with me, or with me on Facebook. Uh, you can search, search uh, Chef Tino Max Kitchen on Facebook and then on Instagram, Tino Max Kitchen ZW. And then also my number is 0778-766-191. Wow, you have all the details on your screen. But in case you don't know where to find Chef Tino, contact us on Bluffview and we'll connect you to Chef Tino. And what are you waiting for? Tell your friends and your other friends to join us for yet another epic moment in Kitchen Pulpit. God bless you. Cheers.